Now, he is famous, of course, for helping patients on TV show Embarrassing Bodies, but there's another area of medicine that is close to Dr. Christian Jessen's heart. When he was younger, he saw his uncle's health and career as a vet slowly fade because of multiple sclerosis. He eventually passed away after coping with the condition for 25 years. Well, Christian is backing a new awareness campaign about MS and uh, joins me now. Um, good to see you, Christian. Good to so, mind is actually, first and foremost, what is MS? Well, in a nutshell, it's an autoimmune condition, which is where the body attacks itself. And the particular thing about MS is the body attacks the central nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord. And that causes problems with mobility, sensation, movement, eyesight, things like that. And it's a sort of progressing disease. And of course, you're an expert on these kind of conditions now. You're a doctor. When you were younger, you weren't a doctor, but you became aware of it because of your Uncle Volker. Yeah, but it's funny because you don't really understand illness and particularly MS. He was just my Uncle Volker who had these various, you know, problems problems, mobility problems, and he was a little bit slow when you spoke to him on the phone, but that to me was entirely normal. And it was spotted in him fairly late on. I think he was doing some stitches on, a, on an animal because he was a vet and his That's colleagues right. noticed it, it got a bit sloppy, it's sloppier than normal. I mean, I can really relate to this as a doctor, but you know, he trained all this length of time as a surgeon. He was a brilliant veterinary surgeon, but his stitching, his eyesight started to go and then his stitching started to get more and more wonky. And of course, colleagues at some point had to step in and it mm. must have been a terrible conversation. And then in the early days, the doctor thought perhaps it was lead poisoning. And he spent a long time sort of going around the houses before the actual mm. diagnosis was made. It's not an easy thing to diagnose, is it? You hear about people having to have two bouts of symptoms mm. in the space of 10 years before it's diagnosed as multiple sclerosis. Certainly in his day, imaging was not as good, but today it's much, much better and sort of diagnostic criteria have changed. But it's still, it can take quite a long time to give an absolute diagnosis and that must be incredibly frustrating. Uh, how important is it then to get it checked out early and spotted as soon as possible. I think the great temptation, particularly if you're a man, is you just don't want to know. You run away. You don't engage with services. But actually, you know, there are so many services and not just medical services, but dietitians and psychiatrists and all sorts of other people that can help. And this campaign, the One Message campaign, is really aimed at encouraging people not to hide away. If you engage, we can offer you so many more things that really will help. And treatment has improved massively. Yes. You know, I think the number of different treatments has doubled in the last 10 years. So there will be something that will help you. Hiding away won't. I mean, you must find that with not just MS, but plenty of other conditions. People, you, you can imagine why, you just want to bury their heads in the sand and get on with the lives they had before. I've done it myself. I've ignored things myself. I won't probably tell you what, but you know, I just didn't want to know. Or it was inconvenient, or it was fear, and all sorts of things. And, and to be fair, you know, sometimes you engage with a GP, and perhaps that consultation isn't doesn't go quite right, and you think, well, I'm not going back there, and, and they're lost to follow up. But of course, it's only you really that loses out. And actually, you know, as I said, things have advanced so much with treatments that that people really will benefit now. Well, exactly. There's an awful lot of experimental stuff going on with trying to not just deal with the condition, but solve MS, cure MS. So if people do step forward, they might be able to beat this once and for all, possibly. I think one of the vital things, I'm glad you said that, is clinical trials. The only way we can come up with new treatments is to get people involved in clinical trials. And again, this is an option. It's not something you have to do, but you can opt to do it. It's enormous help to medicine. It's enormous help to other people with MS, and it may benefit you as well. Christian, really good to see you again. Thanks Pleasure. so much for coming in. Thanks.